The African continent is a diverse region with 54 countries, each with its own unique set of factors influencing economic growth. Despite the diversity, there are some common themes that have caused some African economies to grow while others have not. One of the main factors is the level of economic freedom. Countries with higher levels of economic freedom have seen greater economic growth than those with lower levels. Another key factor is the level of investment in infrastructure and human capital. Countries that have invested in infrastructure and human capital have had higher levels of economic growth than those that have not. Finally, good governance is essential for economic growth. Countries with strong institutions and good governance have seen higher levels of economic growth than those with weak institutions and poor governance. Some African countries have seen remarkable economic growth over the past decade. Ethiopia, for example, has seen its economy grow by an average of 10% per year since 2005. This is largely due to the country's focus on infrastructure investment, economic reforms, and improved governance. Similarly, Rwanda has seen its economy grow by an average of 8% per year since 2005, due to its focus on good governance and investment in human capital. On the other hand, some African countries have not seen the same levels of economic growth. Angola, for example, has seen its economy shrink by an average of 2% per year since 2005. This is largely due to the country's dependence on oil exports and its weak institutions and poor governance. In conclusion, African countries have seen varying levels of economic growth over the past decade. The key factors influencing this growth have been economic freedom, investment in infrastructure and human capital, and good governance. Some countries, such as Ethiopia and Rwanda, have seen remarkable economic growth, while others, such as Angola, have seen their economies shrink. It is clear that in order for African countries to experience economic growth, they must focus on improving economic freedom, investing in infrastructure and human capital, and strengthening their institutions and governance.